Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried... Balotelli with a shot! They've scored! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Balotelli and that has been clubbed away William and it's Balotelli that's been one straight back Jonas and it's Balotelli that's a clever movement up front yeah they're playing with a, a false nine can he finish oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way Douglas Costa, chance to cross here, and Trevor gets it away, come back to the keeper, Thiago Silva plays it forward, Douglas Costa, that will be a throw in, Douglas Costa, Douglas Costa, he's got away, lovely feet, and there's the end of the first half, and there we are, off they go for half time, the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. Well that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline, the question is now, can they protect it? Italy come off having scored the only goal he's gone for it looking back on that it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and this team and that's a throw chance to shoot Balotelli with a shot well he should have done better and he knows it that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Now it's Balotelli. He could be in here. They're actually not. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Away from immediate danger. De Rossi. It's Balotelli. And now the finish. And the shot. No, he couldn't get hold of it. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that whistle's gone? That's a uh, foul. Oh, managed to get it away. And it's been taken straight back. Going through. He's had a shot. Back of the net. Surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up. Has a pop! Oh, he's managed to miss it. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Lucas. Chip 
through. In once more. Good clearance and very necessary. William Neymar! A great save, real class. Neymar sparked a tremendous stop there and I think it's fair to add he just wasn't expecting it. Brazil could have here their final chance. And it's hoisted clear. Brazil with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. William with the short one. It's a loose ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that's that. Italy away with the win. A job really well done in all departments, sir. Real some of the parts team effort. Your reflections then, Jim. Yeah, they had a game plan. Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match I think will be quite a spectacle well this really is a great venue it adds so much character to every game it stages and already we're underway here Jim which player is best equipped for this game I would think Diego Costa. Not only does he do a, a good job with his back to goal, he does a better job facing goal through his willingness to run behind the fences. Uh, a provocateur with, with a villainous reputation, but so, so effective. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. from immediate danger now it's Balotelli oh, and he's got good distance who's chasing Chiellini Jorginho Chiellini and it's Cantreva Balotelli and the finish ball's loose and he's after it a really close shave and the last action of the first half so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. We drew it back on the first 45 minutes. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Italy head to the dressing room, not yet. And a header! Marvellous goal! Well, that's what top players do. They can seize the initiative almost single-handedly and that goal eases them in front once more to make this second half look a little more promising. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch.
Italy draw first blood here. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. He's left his man. He can get that clear. Kandreva. Raul Albiol. It's beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. Albiol cuts it out. Silva. And it's been taken straight back. Kandreva. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period. And the shot! No mistake! And this is getting better and better. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Changes here from both sides, in fact. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Things starting to look very comfortable. There's a player in need of attention here. Yeah, and I hope for his sake that it's it's cramped, meaning it'll be a quicker fix. But it appears he's going to be okay, at least for now. Jorginho. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. Iniesta. And it's got through. Going through. Silva. The rust. And the referee brings it to a close. Italy away with the win. A job really well done in all departments. A real sum of the parts team effort. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Italy were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, we could only see one winner. And if that wasn't hard enough...